Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this is not another playlist but yes I will be talking about one separate topic which is about Node.js microservices and 12 factor app. Okay. So I have a lot of playlists which talks about Node.js microservices and Nest.js but what I want to do is I wanted to combine all these things together in terms of deployment, configuration and making your application compatible with the 12 factor app. Okay, 12 factor app is nothing but a principles which you can apply on your microservices which you are writing either in the Java, Node.js, Express, Node.js, Nest.js or any other particular framework. Okay, I mean 12 factor app principles applies. These are all 12 factor app principles that your code base, dependencies, configurations, port binding, statelessness of your applications, a fast launch, deployment, CI, CD, graceful stop, log stream and concurrency. Okay. We'll talk about all these 12 factor app principle in the context of Nest.js application where I will be talking about okay how you can segregate the environment, how you can write the migrations for each and every different environment, how you can make the configurations like dev and prod parity where dev configurations are totally isolated from the production configuration and we will talk about the deployment all these things let's say these are the 12 factor principles a code base should be tracked through the version control git you might be using git flow or github actions or ci pipelines but version control like git you might be using now uh, you can be using either bitbucket gitlab or github right but the version control system is still git dependencies you should be you should be explicitly declaring all your dev dependencies dependencies like because in the node.js nest.js or express.js we always define the dependencies well production dependencies should not include the dev dependencies right configurations how to store the different configurations different environment configurations and how to apply build release run right because strictly we have to separate stages build deploy test processes and execute the app as one or more stateless process do not combine the processes which can independently run like scheduler like uh, one pub sub task on your node.js microservice it has nothing to do with your main process so you might create a stateless process independent to your master process part binding port binding like uh, your service will expose a particular port you might be communicating to different services on a particular port and disposability like uh, graceful shutdown whenever what happens is your application is up and running but something bad happens then you should be able to gracefully shut down your application shut down, shutting down the db connection shutting down the resource and so that your process can be bootstrapped again based on the logic which you have written either you are using pm2 process manager or uh, the kubernetes pod will restart your process dev prod parity keep development staging productions testing environments uh, similar as possible by keeping their uh, configurations totally separate logs logs treat logs as the event stream because logs are important things about your process which tells a lot of things so you might be using elk stack you might be using logs test which is writing to the elastic search or you might be using the the node.js roll bar i mean there are a lot of different ways to capture the long stream coming from uh, the your node.js process now admin processes which can turn on and off processes okay these are just uh, principles but how we are going to tackle them okay what we are going to do is we are going to work closely with the node.js nest.js we are going to see how you can write test cases okay because i was going to have a separate uh, videos about writing the nest.js test cases but right like writing the test cases is also a part of 12 factor principles which is making sure whatever you are building is a, is a full proof few additional things I, I will include here is okay you are writing a node.js express or nest.js yes, how you can make how you can secure how you can do the health check how you can do the logging how you can do the deployment on heroku right how you can manage the migrations or migration of the database using type orm uh, on different environments right how you can see the database how you can write the test cases like end-to-end -end test cases unit test cases by testing the actual apis how you can make the mock the services right 
all these things i have already covered uh, the advanced nest js course but this playlist will touch on the deployment building like the building testing deployment and also covers these 12 factor principles because we will be deploying on heroku and most probably on aws you will be writing the clean contract of the apis let's say you are using writing the rest api microservices we will expose that interface and what all different external interface your application can talk to database maybe redis maybe rabbitmq maybe kafka those are the interfacing mediums right those are like backing services for your api interface so how you can optimally do the connections how you can optimally bootstrap your applications keeping your connection alive with all these external services okay so all these things are going will revolve around a nest js we will talk about basic fundamentals basic application then we will introduce the database and you will consider microservice as a with database as a service right because uh, database per service you will have a microservice that, that will have a database how to manage the configurations how to write the migration seeders how to do the testing and then how to once we are done with the apis how to do the testing unit testing integration testing and how to set up the uh, integration pipeline continuous development continuous integration pipeline ci cd let's call it we can configure it on the gitlab your personal github account and you can use publicly provided gitlab runners from the gitlab and you can deploy the application on your heroku account okay we, we are not talking about here the load balancer thing we may include that thing uh, in separate course like you you are deploying your application on multiple ec2 instance and there is a load balancer and you are using pm2 process manager to keep your instance up and running like there are like four core systems you have on aws you created a four instance on the pm2 four instance on another systems and you are doing load balancing all those things will be covered all those fundamental principles that will be covered okay i will start with a bare bone very basic my focus is more on the typescript uh, node js so i will be using nest js we'll talk about dependency configuration first let's cover these basic basic things then we will talk about the testing testing is really very important stuff how to do how to write the mocking of the services controllers uh, how you can mock your repositories and how you can write unit test and integration end to end tests okay so stay tuned a lot of things are coming in this playlist i will not say because it is like a combination of different things you might have already be watching my videos on the nest yes beginner advanced and intermediate this is something on top of it okay thanks everyone thanks for watching i will be adding the playlist link in the description so you can you can log into the playlist and you can watch the rest of the videos